it's Eric and I wanted to show you this cool project I'm doing for work. <laughs> it's a pretty simple robot, but it's kind of cool. I've never actually uh, done one this way before. So here, check this out. Okay, it is a really simple differential drive robot. Um, and so basically there are two Servo City uh, HD precision planetary gear motors. These are 128 RPMs, uh, something like 900 ounce inches. Uh, so they're nice beefy motors with the uh, planetary gearbox. And I'm running it through this sort of um, supporting uh, strut here. Uh, and there's a bearing, let me see the bearing in there. And so the weight of the, that pushes down is on the bearing and not on the motor. All right, there's a motor mount attached to the motor. The motor mount is also attached to this channel. There is a shaft coupler that goes from the six millimeter shaft of the motor to a quarter millimeter shaft that goes to this kind of skate wheel that clamps right on the shaft. Uh, it's a D shaft, so everything is locked nicely in place. I have to get some more thread lock and kind of clamp that all down. So there's basically two of them one for each direction. And this cart, uh, it needs to carry a lot of weight. There's gonna be a person on top. So there are four swivel casters on there. Pretty straightforward, no frills. Um, yeah, the, the quote unquote robot itself, really, really simple. It is literally just a platform for someone to stand on, sit on, surf on kind of thing. Um, so what's going on in here? It is simple RC control. We have a RoboClaw dual, uh, was it two by 15? No, no, two by 15 by 30. Some, uh, I forget the, the model numbers of things. Basically, uh, each side can handle a up to 30 amp draw on the motor, which is enough for our um, our uh, Actobotics uh, Servo City motors. So there's a motor on each side, we get power from the battery over here. We have a little simple on off switch and an RC receiver. It's a little minima, high tech minima uh, receiver. Six channels, we don't use all of them. We basically really only use two. And the RoboClaw is in mode two, which is its simple. Um, differential drive mode, which basically means one channel from the RC controls direction forward and backward and speed. Um, so, and the other channel controls left and right. So, all right, we have a 15 volt battery there, which I've used for other projects. It's just kind of standing in right now. So the battery, the switch here cuts the positive from the battery. So it's just, uh, eventually I might put a relay in here so I could uh, actually, the relay wouldn't be here. The relay would be on the motor side of here, um, so that the, the whole everything doesn't lose power because that would be silly. It would lock itself out. So, but anyway, I'll fire that up, and you'll see it's waiting for a pair. And here's my remote control. Uh, I'm gonna turn that on. Everything goes solid. Should go solid. Yep. Meaning it's all linked. And. Forward, backward, and turn left, turn right. That's about as simple as you get uh, for a robot. It's a box. <laughs> and uh, we've actually tested it with 400 pounds on it. And it was okay. So, um, uh, it's going to be part of a project, kind of a choreographed performer slash robot slash <laughs> whatever kind of piece. Um, and it was a lot of fun to build. My first time with a Robo Claw. Very happy with the results. And uh, maintenance and everything on it should be fairly minimal because everything's really, really straightforward. Usually I'd be using like an Arduino or something in here, but. Um, it was fun using the RoboClaw this time. Really, really straightforward. And the good news is I get to build, I guess, five more of them now. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I'm going to 
Now, let's see. Normally, we have this top that goes on there. If I do it the right way. Yep, there's the top. All right, so for now, I'm going to have to do it this way. Here I am sitting on the robot. Yay! Fun way to spend the day. A little bit noisy, but we'll be uh, muffling the boxes. At 128 RPM, this thing is capable of kind of spinning around. Um, it's actually, it's gonna be more than 120 RPM because that's the 12 volt rated speed. And uh, this is actually using 15 volts at the moment because of that uh, four cell lithium polymer battery. So. Now the robot is meant to run with some weight on the box, so it actually uh, is a little bit jerkier when there's no weight on the box because because a little bit of flex in the uh, in the frame, the weight wears it weighs it down, and then uh, it causes all the wheels to engage a little bit more smoothly. But. It's not too bad. 